Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In today's KT session, we will discuss about Blue Prism logs. So let's start. Blue Prism uh, logs are records generated by the Blue Prism robotic process automation tool. So these are like records and these are generated by the Blue Prism itself. In another uh, RPA tools, uh, they are, this feature is not available. Like in automation anywhere, we have to manually generate the logs. So these logs provide valuable information about the execution of automated processes and it can help diagnose uh, issues, monitor performance and ensure compliance. Blue Prism generates several type of logs. So in Blue Prism, we have audit logs, runtime logs, debug logs, system logs, log files, etc. So what are audit logs? Audit logs are logs which are captured, uh, which captures user or actions and system events. They are essential for tracking who access the system and what, what actions were performed. Means uh, it contains the records uh, related to the system events. Means uh, this is the Blue Prism window and uh, if I go to system tab and if I make any change in the environment variables or if I change the value of any uh, environment variable or credential so these are related to system events so audit uh, logs will uh, take care of uh, audit logs will uh, records all these uh, activities and uh, audit logs can be accessed from the audit section in the control room uh, you can filter and view audit logs to track user actions and system events so audit logs uh, we can find uh, here in system tab under audit we can see process logs object logs uh, and this one audit logs so here you can find the audit logs next one is runtime logs runtime logs records details about the execution of a specific process or a board uh, as its name suggests runtime so this contains the logs uh, during uh, the runtime of the board. They can include include information about information information about input and output data, errors and timestamp. So whenever we run the process, all the activities which it performs, runtime logs will contain those activities. So runtime uh, logs are associated with specific processes or boards. To access them, uh, we can go to the process section. So here we can see the process logs. Uh, these are uh, these contain runtimes uh, logs of a process or an object. Next one is debug logs. So debug logs are used for troubleshooting and debugging the processes in case there is any termination happen or something went wrong with the process. So we generally check the logs first and these debug logs provide detailed information about each step of process making it easier to identify and fix the issues and these debug logs can be enabled and uh, configured at the process level to access them uh, we can uh, go to the uh, control room and here we can uh, find the logs when we click on the session of a bo uh, process, so here we can see the debug log. It contains stage name, stage type, result, resource start, and parameter sector. Next one is system logs. System logs are typically managed by the Blue Prism admins and can provide information about the health and operation of the Blue Prism platform. Uh, access to these system logs may require admin access, admin privileges and access to the server level logs depending upon your setup so these uh, system logs uh, uh, if you want to check the st uh, health of the blue prism itself means uh, if we talk about uh, like here we can see the uh, status i mean uh, these many column bar uh, column these many and uh, uh, we can see the data or the metrics here but if you want to check the health of the Blue Prism means uh, apps and these system logs contain information about the Blue Prism process uh, platform itself and it includes the configuration changes, system health and errors that affect the platform operation. 
next one is log files brokerism typically stores the log information in the log files that can be reviewed manually or analyzed using log management tool and uh, these log files generated by Blueprism are often stored in the specific directories on the server where Blueprism is installed and the exact location and format of these logs files can be configured in the Blueprism setting, setting uh, specifically in the system tab. So like uh, we have seen the log of a session. You can generate the log file from here as well. You can see uh, export current page or export entire log. So you can generate, you can select the format of the file, CSV, a text file or HTML and you can export it to a particular location, uh, desktop or anywhere. So it will uh, create the export, it will export the uh, log file and also it automatically create the log files as well. Uh, it depends upon your Blue Prism settings and all. And uh, when we create the log, uh, when we create a process, we can uh, decide uh, whatever uh, actions you want to capture. Uh, you can decide uh, in the pro uh, during development of the process. Okay, so this is the process for let's say we are creating this process, and here you can see there are a lot of actions we are using. So when we click on double click on this action, so when we double click on this action, we can see stage logging errors only. Or we can see in three options: enable, disabled, and errors only. So if you want to always uh, uh, capture the logs of this action, then you will uh, you can enable this. And if you don't want to enable, or uh, if you don't want to capture the logs of this uh, action, you can disable it. And if you want to capture logs only if there is any error, so add that for this you can select error only. Generally, we select this error only uh, because we want to. We use logs for debugging purpose and uh, if there is any error in a uh, particular sta stage or action, we can uh, capture that error and uh, we can uh, check the logs. It will uh, capture the error of that particular stage or action and also you can check this don't log parameter on this stage means it will uh, not log the parameters means input parameter and output parameter in the of this stage i mean uh, if for example if you are using some uh, uh, personal information or something so you can uh, check this so that it will not capture the input and outputs of this error uh, if this action and also uh, you can select the multiple uh, actions and uh, go to that uh, edit and uh, here you can see the selected stages and you can uh, select uh, log error only or enable logging or you can select uh, error all stages and uh, you can select uh, one option I mean no need to go to each action and uh, select that manually uh, this option you can directly do from here just go to edit tab and all stages and click on enable logging okay now open any action you can see the stage logging is enabled but earlier it was error only uh, let me show you again go to all stages and click on log errors only now open this action again you can see errors only so this is how you can select the error stage logging of bulk uh, stages just go to edit tab and uh, all stages and change it so this is uh, how you can use the logs uh, in double prism thanks for watching this video guys to comment your doubts if any